Hi everyone on YouTube and all the NFL YouTube prognosticators and football fans everywhere. This is Andrew Warren, back here once again, giving you my thoughts for the conference championship games two weeks ago, and my picks for Super Bowl 57. Check it out. Okay, my thoughts for the conference championship games, starting off with the Philadelphia Eagles and the San Francisco 49ers. And by the way, I almost forgot, uh, straight up, and against the spread and over and under, I went one and one on both of them, on all three of them, so that's what I did. But straight up for the year, 163, 96, 2 overall in the year. And against the spread, I'm 112, 136, and 2 overall in the year. And over and under, 24, 42, and 5 overall in the year. So that's how I did for um, the conference championship games. But as of right now, uh, I'm doing pretty solid on the straight up picks. And hope I do better in the against the spread and I do better in the over and, over and under is next year. That's definitely a goal of mine for next up, uh, season in the NFL. And speaking of the NFL, um, we announced that the the GOAT Tom Brady has officially retired from the NFL. So I think that was a big, big um, uh, thing last week. So we'll find out if he's actually going to stay retired or is he going to play another year. So we'll have to find out. But now he has an analyze on Fox to be a broadcast booth. So it'll be the number one broadcaster, which is going to be very interesting call on that one. So I think this is going to be very good to see what Tom Brady goes from there. But until then, I appreciate as a Patriots fan, I salute the GOAT Tom Brady. And so, and other than that, we all still love you, Brady. So maybe you could sign a one-day contract with us in, in the training camp. See what that one leads to. But anyways, I want to say congratulations to a future ballot Hall of Famer for definitely 2028. So I wish I could be going to that one. So maybe I can do that when that when he gets inducted to the Hall of Fame. So, but anyways, future ballot Hall of Famer in the next five years, definitely worth deserving. Seven-time Super Bowl champion, six with the Patriots, one with Tampa Bay, fifteen-time Pro Bowler, and three-time MVP. You can't go better than that. What he did, and all, he's he's definitely one of the greats with Michael Jordan and all that, and all that jazz. You know, definitely one of the goats of the goats. You know. Michael Jordan, the GOAT of the NBA. Tom Brady, the GOAT of the NFL. Probably for baseball, eh, I don't know. I'm not really a big baseball fanatic, but I would probably say the greatest player of all time, probably Babe Ruth. Guys, what you think about, so he's probably the greatest player of all time, so the GOAT in baseball. So maybe in this generation, probably Derek Jeter. So I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts about the greatest baseball player of all time, the GOAT of, of baseball. So let me know in the comments down below and give your opinion. So, anyways, that being said, and, oh, and maybe for hockey, the great one, Wayne Gretzky. So, definitely one of the goats on that one as well. So, so anyways, um, that being said, let's get on with the um, the Philadelphia Eagles and the San Francisco 49ers pick. That game, that was a pretty much the Eagles picked up where they left off against the Giants uh, in the divisional game. He just came in and just stomped on all of the Giants, and they did the same thing with San Francisco. And they knocked out Brock Bordy, too. So that was a big kicker on that one. Having Philadelphia get knocked out Brock Porty, and that just went downhill for San Francisco. Now the question mark for um, San Francisco, what are they going to do, keep Brock Porty? Or are they going to get a quarterback like George Kittle said? Because remember, George Kittle said after the ball game, he said, I don't have a quarterback. So um, it's going to be a big, big, big scenario on that one. So that's going to be a really, really, really good one to call. I think this is going to be what San Francisco needs. They're probably a quarterback away from success. So we'll see what they do. But anyways, uh, for this game, I think not only that, Philadelphia was just all over the place, left and right. It just San Francisco had no answer whatsoever, like the San Francisco, like the New York Giants did for the, against Philadelphia. They just had no answer whatsoever. They just pounded the 49ers. And, they were, and 49ers were the top defense in the league, too. So... That shows to show you that the San Francisco 49ers are just like still still not there at the point yet. But another playoff failure or maybe Super Bowl failure for Kyle Shanahan. So we'll see how that one goes out next year. But anyways, I think that being said, uh, congratulations to the Philadelphia Eagles who are the NFC um, champions or representing uh, the NFC in the Super Bowl. And in that being case scenario, I think it was just uh, another great is a great year for Jalen Hurts. Could be an MVP candidate. We'll see on that one. So I think personally, my next my, my next game is going to be the MVP. So, anyways, that being said, I think um, Philadelphia and that was a great great game they did. 
both sides of the ball with Jalen Hurts and in the and the defensive side of the ball. So um, and done. They they just rolled on to Super Bowl Fifty Seven. The Cincinnati Bengals and the Kansas City the Kansas City Chiefs. I gotta tell you that was the end of that game was probably the most controversial endings we ever seen in a, in a postseason in a very very long time. So anyways, um. With that late hit penalty, which was probably not even close to that. I don't know. So I think it was case scenario on that one. But Cincinnati was my AFC pick. So earlier, uh, for my Super Bowl early predictions, I had the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Cincinnati Bengals. That didn't, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers weren't even close to that. They had a lot of offensive line struggle. And of course, Cincinnati, this close and got in the AFC right for me. This close. But, you know, with all fairness, I think Joe Burrow and the Bengals, I think they're still, I think this is a little, they can use another guard or two or something like that. Maybe work on defense too a little bit too in the offseason. But anyways, I think that being said, can't, Patrick Mahomes with the ankle injury, he just played lights out. Like there was no tomorrow. And he finally outgunned Joe Burrow. So that was a really good one. Now Patrick Mahomes got his first win against Joe Burrow and the Bengals in a very long time. So... So I think many, many years to come, we're going to see Joe Burrow and Patrick Mahomes going out in the postseason again, like Tom Brady and Peyton Manning, like 20 years ago. So this is going to be a very, very good one to see. Like 20 years ago, it was Tom Brady and Peyton Manning. Now we get to see um, Kent, Patrick Mahomes and Joe Burrow. I think there's going to be another top center in there. We'll be surprised next year they meet again for the third year in a row. It wouldn't surprise me at all. So anyways, that being said, I think this... It was this was a brutal ending for the Cincinnati Bengals and I and I think by next year I think they're gonna look for a redemption and for that for that game itself though they were, Joe Burrow played a good game I thought I I really thought Joe Burrow had a good cha- championship game he almost set him down to the run too but you know but defensively for the Bengals they just blew it so honestly they got to look for a more defensive uh, productive I think they should go in the off season I think defense is the way to go for the draft for them honestly I might do it. Do a um do a draft um day selection for them, but currently I don't have time for school right now, so that's another case scenario that I can't do. I'm only a couple of points away or credits away from graduating. I'd just rather be doing that right now than doing other videos right now. No offense, I'm still doing my football videos. I did that, but as of right now, this off season, I'm just focusing on just getting my um getting my um my my um, graduation underway. Just get. Couple of, I'm just only two points away from graduating. I just want to focus on that right now. So, anyways, if you're thinking March Madness video, NBA playoff predictions or Stanley Cup playoffs predictions, I don't really think I'm going to be doing that this year. It's because I like I didn't do it last year because I wanted to get some points in there, my a lot of credits done, which I got a lot of it done last year. Now I'm just two credits away and I just want to get it done. So, anyways, that's the way my rolling going on for the upcoming off season for them. My, I'm thinking about doing other stuff. I don't know. So I'll just see how that turns out after the Super Bowl, how I feel about it. So I don't really know yet. I just I'm not gonna make any decisions in that until I finish the su- uh, till I till my post Super Bowl video. So you gotta stay tuned for that. So let's we'll see what's up. Just nothing crazy. So anyways, that being said, you know that's a little little bit of case scenario that's going on in the off season for me and my thoughts on the conference championship games. Let's get on to my Super Bowl pick. Okay. Super Bowl 57. Well, here we are. The last game of the year. It's this coming week, Super Bowl 57. It comes down to two teams. The representing the A, the NFC, the Philadelphia Eagles, representing the AFC's, the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, how both teams got there is very similar. They both get, came in at 14 and 3 regular seasons. Now they go set in at 16 and 3. And now the only two other common and they have the Kelsey brothers on there. So it's pretty good. So I think this case scenario, this is going to be a really close matchup. But Philadelphia, they got here by both sides of the ball, by offense and defense. So this is really good on both sides how they do it. But Kansas City, they got there on the offensive side of the ball. You know, they got a little case scenario down there, which was pretty close, too close to the call for that. I think this is going to be a very good one for that. For Kansas City, for Kansas City, they they have an MVP candidate, which Patrick Mahomes, which I believe he was going to get the MVP this year. So I really think this is going to be a case scenario for that one. So anyways, this is going to be a very, very close battle. I think this is going to be really too close of a call game. Especially the Kelsey family, though. They haven't decided who they're going to pick in the Super Bowl, to say the least. But anyways, I think this case scenario, I think it's going to come down to... It's going to be a quarterback duel, I believe. I think it's going to come down to a big offensive battle. 
in that case scenario. So this is going to be a really, really close. I just, I just definitely see it. I could definitely see why the, the, the spread pick is like that. And I believe I can see why the over and under is like that too. So anyways, I think this game alone, this is going to be a really going to be a seesaw battle. This is nothing to be surprised if they come to say the least. But I really think this is going to be really, really fun to see. I, I really can't. I'm looking forward to this matchup, even though these weren't my Super Bowl predictions. But it, like I said, it was the Bu Tampa Buccaneers and the Cincinnati Bengals. But I don't know. But the way I look at it now, this is going to be a really fun one to see. I really can't wait to see what this one's going to come out. I really, I really can't, can't wait. This is going to be fun. But anyways, for this game, I, I think this is going to come down whoever has the ball last. Whoever has the ball last or makes a big defensive play, this is going to win the game. No matter what's going to happen. So, anyways, I think the way this game goes, this is going to come down to whoever has the ball last or comes up with a big defensive play. This is going to come down to it whatsoever. There's another hint. Whoever is going to be... And MVP hasn't decided yet. But if Patrick Mahomes wins it, which I, I think he's the all-time favorite... He could lose it because most likely the last time I gotta remember the last time whoever won the MVP in, in this and the Super Bowl. I'm trying to think who I remember who it was. I think it was I I can't remember who it was right now, but I think uh, I thought it was Peyton Manning in 2006, but I could be wrong. But anyways, I all I know is it's it's been a long time since whoever's won the both the MVP and the Super Bowl in the same year, so. Anyways, I think that being said, excuse me, I'm just going to, I had the thing looking up somewhere, I just can't find it, but anyways, the way I think things is going to happen, I think it's going to come down whoever's, like, like I mentioned. <laughs> yeah, hold on just a minute. I just had it in my notes somewhere. I just typed it in not too long ago and I lost it. So, excuse me for a minute. And now it's gone. And I'm like... But anyways, I think the case scenario is it's not a really a good record, to say the least. Well, it's not really a good record, so... To say the least, they say, they say in there. Yeah, I think, hold on, let me see. The last time, no, it was Kurt Warner in 1999. That was the last time that an MVP, the NFL MVP winner and a Kurt and a, um, and a, and a Super Bowl winner was crowned the same year. That was the last time. So if Patrick Mahomes does that, that the real odds are against him. So, anyways, I think the NFL Awards is coming out on Saturday, I think, right? I think it's... I think it's... Yeah, I think... Yeah, yeah. I think Patrick Mahomes leads the MVP race, which, I, like I mentioned, if he does win it, it's put really the odds against Kansas City on that one. So, anyways, that being said, let's take a look at the Super Bowl. So, anyways, I'm not saying he's going to win it, though, but it's he's... Patrick, I'm just saying Patrick Mahomes the odds, fate... The all-time favorite in the win that. Not even Tom Brady has done that, to say the least. Kind of amazing. Anyways, let's continuing on to the Super Bowl pick. So my an annual winner is who I think is going to win Super Bowl Fifty Seven to be the Super Bowl champion. It's I think it's going to going to be the Philadelphia Eagles over the Kansas City Chiefs. Yep, you you got it correct. I got the Philadelphia Eagles winning Super Bowl Fifty Seven over the Kansas City Chiefs in this game. On the line though. The Philadelphia Eagles is favored by one and a half point favorites in that game. I'm going to take the Philadelphia Eagles minus one and a half. And the over and under is 50. And I'm going to go for my gut in this one. I'm going to go over the 50 because I think it's going to be a high flying scoring game. It's going to be in the 30, in the 30s on that one. And my final score in this game. Uh, yeah, I'm going to give you my final score on that one. The Philadelphia Eagles, 37. The Philadelphia Eagles. The Philadelphia Eagles, 37. The Kansas City Chiefs, 34. It's going to come down to a field goal. Okay, um, shout-outs this week is my 
good old buddy, a long time viewer, who is a nothing we call him the football guru. We I mean, not the 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 guru of the NFL YouTube prognosticator page, and that is Gio knows who um who was the the, the godfather in this community and the NFL YouTube prognosticator page. A big shout out to him. And check out the rest of the NFL YouTube prognosticator page in the description down below right here. And until then, this is Andrew Warren signing off for Super Bowl 57. And I'll see you all in my post-Super Bowl video. And good luck to your Super Bowl picks. And rock out. And eat your breakfast.